Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's Minister Paul, Watchman on the Wall. The date is March 28th, 2014 at 1026 a.m. And that's Pacific Standard Time. And tomorrow I will be 50. What a life it's been. Amen. 50 representing a jubilee. A generation, some believe, 40 or 50 years. Depends on who you listen to. This generation. As led by the Lord, I just want to show you a couple of things. You're looking at Psych Court here in Roseville. Well, let me just show you. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us. Um, this is the school. Uh, Wood Creek Wood Creek High, it's actually Wood Creek High, let me find it here, it's right up in here somewhere, Wood, Wood Creek, and look there's another school here, Wood Creek is uh, my uh, power lines, my wife's sister lives over here, and her two sons, uh, my nephews, went to Wood Creek. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I had a dream. The Lord allowed me to see a dream, and it involved a school. And in the video, I showed a school, and I'll put a link to that. And at the school were 12 tables. And someone, uh, Sarah Beveridge, I've been looking at her channel a little bit. She sent me her, interpre her interpretation of the dream. And I will ask her if she sees this, and I'll keep this video short, to post it in this description because this is what my 1,000th video. And I don't, I, we're not promised tomorrow. That it's looking rocky out there, but you know we walk by faith and not by sight. And we don't walk in fear. We walk in love. We don't need to be out here running around like a chicken with our head cut off. We need to remain in perfect peace. And then the spirit say, come. The spirit and the bride say, come. Don't get weary. Don't get tired. That's another thing the Lord told me. Many watchmen and women are getting tired. The messengers of the Lord are getting tired. And, you know, they're, they're saying that we're tired. Here's what the Lord told me today when I put him first in front of everything, including my own wife today. First thing I did was I turned to him. We turned to you, Jesus. And he said, tell my watchmen and women and messengers that are tired that you're supposed to be tired because you're in a race and you're heading towards the finish line. But you, you will receive a second win to finish the race. It's called endurance. Keeping your eye on the prize. Keep running because you're almost there. I'm not going to add or take away to that. Um, so I would ask Sarah Beveridge to put her description of that dream where there was 12 tables at a school and what was revealed to her in this video description if she sees it. Um... This whole area is full of schools, but I was looking at Wood Creek just be simply because I know that's where uh, my nephews graduated from. So now let me show you something. See, seeing that, everybody see Site Court? Right here. This is where it's at. It's this here. CVC. <laughs> the people claiming to be calling me or whatever. Okay, so here, here's where, you know, we had three tornadoes the other day. And, you know, people will be like, oh, so what? One of them was an EF-1. It, they, they caused damage to what? 12, 12 homes. 12 homes. 16 hours ago, the Roseville Fire Department, which is right here. In in uh, in this somewhere, right here, Roseville Fire Department Station Five, they responded to this. Just follow me on this. Said the tornado damaged how many homes? Twelve. In the site court, 
that received substantial damage. Now let me tell you that is not normal for here. And there was another a separate one in Glen County. It's just 12 and 12 everywhere. And it just happened to be where my nephews went to school. And I'm here to tell you that's not normal. I don't care what anybody says. For this area that is not normal. Let, let's move on. So the, I, I woke up and I went to prayer and the Lord gave me that word that I just shared. And I went to Twitter. Now watch this because I'm still praying over this one. Remember when the angel gives me numbers and they're three, seven, it means war, spiritual war and physical war. I've said that for three years on here now, three years. Well, this says that on Saturday, which here is the 29th, at my birthday, I turned five zero, and it, uh, and seven. I I just couldn't I couldn't just I was astounded by this. The numbers three seven, and I assume this is Canada. It says Peel police confirming shooting at Brampton Courthouse, and it's. The numbers, I guess this is how they do their rain. I've never seen rain done by this, or if anybody wants to explain. It's 10, and then 3 and 7, which equals 10. 3, 7. The angel showed me numbers, and they were 3, 7. And so I'm just, I mean, look. This is Twitter. Update. Shooting person shot. Arrived. Sunnybrook Trauma Center. Male shot in abdomen. Brampton Courthouse in lockdown. And and, and, uh, and as I say that, Truth Lighthouse, it is 1033. So I'm going to be obedient to the Lord. I had to pray over this for a couple days before I'd say anything. But Truth Lighthouse has received a message, you know, called 1033. And she didn't even know uh, that in the industry I'm in, uh, was in, in personal protection, 1033 is a code red alert to clear the air clear all radio traffic it's for emergency traffic only used for extreme situations like officer down etc it's called a 1033 and so uh, she wants to put in a comment on here i would ask her to do so let me show you one more thing and i'll hit stop there's the seven three again look seven 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 three sevens you know why i say that because it's biblical just read the book of the revelation Things are being revealed. So right here is the dream. It says, warning dream. A warning dream. Number 37 in a school, anguish and lamenting. That's the one. And the other one is, um, pestilence in Matthew 24 has begun. Not a, it is going to be begun. It has begun. Uh, right here. And, and then today I read that the Ebola thing has went... To the whole the whole region now let me show you one more thing 1033 emergency alert uh, you know I'm just putting out the alarm the top title that I gave this um, what was it four days ago is Train derailments, fires, earthquakes, and loss of life. And all that has come to pass. All that has come to pass. And there's another... Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I was going to try to make it through there. That just shows you I'm human. Um, let, let me just go ahead and hit close. Because I have feel like a sneeze thing coming on. Pray for me, saints. And I hope that something has made sense to you and helped you in some way, especially if you're in fear, you should not be. And if you're watchman and a messenger tired, get back up. You know, someone's going to have to keep this going as I'm being led out to other places. But what do you think about this 3-7? And it was at 1033. The clock is at 1033. What do you think about tornadoes touching down here and destroying 12 homes? What do you think about fires? God giving out a warning of uh, fires and loss of life. Well, we got, I mean, 
two days after that, we got a prayer room and prayed over the nine alarm fire in Boston that uh, took, sadly, the life of two firemen. And now I read that uh, a fire is, is burning. Let's see if I can find it here. We see what's going on in Russia. I will take you to that real quick. But there's a fire uh, broke out today in another area, too. Um, I think, let me see if I can let's get an update on this. It seems to be that we're leading into <laughs> Poor guy. What's this? Breaking news, LA, Los Angeles. Van Nuys High School on lockdown due to police activity in the area. It's this Operation Capstone. It, there, you know, people... The police department's having to come on here and Twitter and say, don't worry, it's not real, it's just us. See, they put people in panic, man. So let me go to shout out to Michael J. and James Van Patten, my Twitter buddies. Um, there's one more thing I was going to do. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. I was going to go over here. I mean, this can't be a coincidence. There is no coincidence, right, brother? <laughs> Uh, let's go to Crimea. I have a friend, as I've said, who uh, has two brothers still living here that goes here every year. He He's from this area. And what we're not being told the truth. We're not being told the truth. So let's just look at this. We are not being told the truth. Now let me show you one more thing. Let's just go a little south of that and let's see where we end up. Well, it's Israel. Jerusalem. That's all I have to say. I say today is a day of prayer. Let's pray, worship, and read the word and get out of this world. The watchmen have sounded the alarm. I, I honestly believe that this is my final watchman video. I do. I say that with all my heart. There's no more warning to do. But what else could we warn of? Amen. God bless you. Love you all. Peace.